have lost it all over the age with no one there to break the fall. And what do you say to someone who feels so unloved, giving themselves away a little bit every day just to be good enough? What do you say to a hopeless soul who can't remember their way home? Everything is out of their control. There is no valley, there is no darkness, there is no sorrow greater than the grace of Jesus. There is no moment, there is no distance, there is no heartbreak. He can take. So before you think that you're too lost to sing Remember there is nothing better than rain What do you say to someone whose life is on the line And they're unsure what happens Take it through So before you think That you're too lost to say Remember there is something greater I'll put you in front, in front of my melody. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. Oh, hey, oh. 
You are all that matters. Oh, hey, oh, hey. you are all that matters. Oh, hey, oh, hey. you are all that matters. Nanya mana sa sa. If I don't have you in my life, what would I gain? If you take the Holy Ghost, what would I become if I didn't see your life? What would I be said of me if you didn't hold my hand? Now I've come to realize. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. Hey, I'll put you in front, in front of my melody. You are all that matters. <laughs> I'll make room for two. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. Is it the house or is it the car? I'll give them all to you. Is it the name or is it the fame? I'm nothing without you. What would I become of me if I didn't see your light? What would have been said of me if you didn't hold my hand? Now I've come to realize that you are all I have. You are all the matters. I'll put you in front, in front of my bed. I don't believe us in the house tonight. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all the matters. You are all the matters. You are all the matters, Jesus. I wish I could hear you sing it out. Oh, 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 oh. If it matters to you tonight, can you lift up those hands and speak in other tongues and blast in other tongues as you worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the one who made all things new, the one who made it possible. For us to be here today, Jesus. Idi di bi di bi du kiania, adi aja nando. Pili piku tu kuti gana, ana na nyona, shete debelo. Can you lift up your hands and begin to speak in other tongues tonight? I wish you can say, say things mystical things to God tonight. Shete be de de be de be de be. Tell him that is all that matters to you. Tell him that silver or gold cannot take his place. Tell him sweet things tonight. I thank God for those who are worshiping. Open up your mouth to Jesus. Open up your mouth and lift up your voice. I want to hear people tonight who are ready, who are ready to take the name of Jesus.
<laughs> As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. No matter what man bring to me. Oh, shut up by your nose. Oh, can we begin to have koinonia tonight? Can we begin to have koinonia tonight? Can I hear people tonight who want to speak mysteries? Oh, 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 oh,
test, test. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise Jesus. Holy Spirit. Yes, I'm Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Glory to Jesus indeed. We again thanking God for this good day that God has given us for us to rejoice and be glad in it but also doing his will welcome beloved of the Lord so that we may share the word of God for those who are following us online may God bless you so let's pray as we receive the word of God we thank you Holy Spirit we thank you Almighty God we thank you Lord Jesus we are here Lord for the reason of the good news come and be with us Holy Spirit and lead us let your word change our hearts and has all power upon our lives in the name of Jesus Christ Amen Amen. Uh, we started our teaching uh, talking about the heart of a man is deceitful and full of wickedness there is a scripture we are basing our teachings on in Jeremiah 17 verse 9 he says that the heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure who can understand it yesterday we were seeing how the heart of a man is what happens in the heart of a man when the Lord Jesus is not present in you when the Lord Jesus doesn't have any say in your heart if you didn't accept that the world have a say in your life when you haven't allowed the word the, the word made flesh to have a say in your heart so in that time we see how a man becomes we have seen his behavior we have seen what come to fill his heart but also we finished Showing what happens when you accept the word, when you accept God to come into your heart. There is a way that your heart is transformed. Because you have seen that what the heart is full of is what the heart talks about. And this shows your deeds and your works. 
this is the behavior that you have and this is the language that you, you have. have and you have seen that when you feel the word in your heart your language become a divine language because you are called upon the kingdom of God your words and your deeds even the picture the image the one you are here people see in you the kingdom of God not the kingdom of this earth there is a man I know in the Bible who testified for himself that the world look at him and see him crucified as Jesus was crucified and even when he looks at the world he sees it as crucified so there was no more influence of the world on the dead one because the one that is dead on the earth that man is called Paul even today it can be possible in your life that you die on the things of the earth and you live just for heaven this is how we have seen that someone can have the thoughts of heaven and the thought the thinking of heaven the mind of heaven and the thinking of heaven so it is possible even today so today we keep on talking about this heart but also showing examples of those who have had deceitful hearts we have been talking about this but we didn't show enough examples but today I want us to be practical and show those people who, have, who had deceitful hearts yet in the house of God they were called upon God they were called children of our father but their hearts are not like the fathers we want to see those people we want to see those people but draw conclusions then showing what we can do so that we don't become like those children who are called upon their fathers but their hearts are different from their fathers I want us to read together Luke 15 from uh, verse 15 up to 32 but I'll be verse jumping uh, from uh, verse 11 up to 32 but I shall jump some verses and I will talk about those who I want to emphasize Let's read in the name of Jesus. And there was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property. Verse 13 Not longer after the younger son got together all he had set off for a distant country and there squandered his wealth in wild living. If I talk about wild living, remember that yesterday I talked about this wild thinking in the heart. So before I go uh, deeply into this, remember that we say that you, your deeds or your works can have an impact on your, or your behavior can have an impact on your tomorrow, on the way you live tomorrow. Abimaze byose inzara nyinshi tera muri cyo gihugu atangira gukena. 
uh, verse 14 after he had spent everything there was a, a, a severe famine in that whole country and he, he began to be in need aragenda hakwa mu kumuntu wo muri cyo gihugu amwohereza mu gikingi ke kuragira ingurube so he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country who sent him to his field to feed pigs yifuza guhazwa nibyo izo ngurube zaryaga ariko niha gira ubimuha he longed to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating but no one gave him anything dusimukire ku murongo wa 2025 let's jump on to the 25th verse ariko umwana we w'imfura yari ari mu murima meanwhile the older son was in the field amaze kuza ageze hafi y'urugo yumva bacuranga nababyina when he came near the house he heard music and dancing amagara umugaragu so he amubaza ibyabaye ibyo ari byo so he called one of the servants and asked him what was going on aramubwira ati murumuna wawe yaje none se yamubagiye kimasa kibyibushye kuko amubonye ari muzima your brother has come he replied and your father has killed the, the fattened calf because he has him back safe and sound this was the language of a servant taking talking to the elder brother in that family the, the older brother became angry and refused to go in so his father went out and pleaded with him maze imyaka myinshi ngukorera nabwo nanze itegeko ryawe ariko harugo wigeze umma nagasekurume ngo nishimane n'inshuti zanje but he answered his father look all these years i've been slaying slaving for you and never disobeyed your orders yet you never gave me even a young goat so i could celebrate with my friends maze uyu mwana wawe yaza wamaze byawe abisambanisha akabariwe ubagira kimasa kibyibushye but when the son of yours who has squandered your property with prostitutes comes he home you kill the fat and calf for him na waramubwira ati mwana wanje turabana iteka kandi byanje byose ni byawe my son the father said you are always with me and everything i have is yours ariko kwishima no kunezerwa biradukwiriye gose kuko murumuna wawe uyu yari yarapfuye none arazutse yari yarazimiye none dore arabonetse but he had to celebrate and be glad because his this brother of yours was dead and is alive again he was lost and is found amen ndashaka kuvuga kuri aba bantu babiri tureba ku mitima yabo tubasanisha nubwoko bw'Imana nabana b'Imana nitorero rya kino gihe abantu kuno babayeho mu nzu y'Imana kandi bitirirwa data ariko imitima yabo ishobora kuba idasa ni yase cyangwa se ni data I want to talk about these two young men uh, comparing them to the people of God who live in a house of God yet their hearts are really different from their fathers Uyu mugani kweza kwitirirwa cyangwa si inkuru kweza kwitirirwa umwana w'ikirara This this story is uh, uh, mostly called the prodigal son history ndetse akabari na ufatwa nk'umwana mubi cyane but this son is also taken as the worst one or the bad the bad boy kubera ko mubizi cyane ndaza gukoresha kanya gato ya gusariwe muvugaho ariko jewe umutima ndi buvuge cyane uruhanya cyangwa se ushukana utari mwiza mubi naza kuvuga ku mutima w'imwana w'imfura because you know the story i will not talk about the prodigal son a, a lot but the bad heart and the deceitful heart i will talk about is the heart of this elder son now rekamerere ku mwana w'ikirara so let me start by the prodigal son uyu mwana yarafite ibintu bitatu byangombwa mu buzima umuntu akenera wese that child had three important things that everybody needs in life ikintu cya mbere yarafite the first thing that he had yarafite se kandi aza mahame agenga umuryango so he had a father and knew the principles of a family iki ni kintu kimwe n'uyu munsi kirimo kunaniza no gusenya imiryango no gutuma umuntu abaho nabi nukubera ko abataragize amahirwe yo kugira ababyeyi cyangwa se ko bataragize amahirwe yo kurerwa this is a thing that is causing a lot of problems where you see people who have never had a chance to have a father or have a chance to, to get an education in a family 
abantu bamwe benshi tuzi hano usanga iyo kurikiranya amateka yabo rimwe na rimwe iyo usanze ingeso zabo atari nziza usanga biwanye cyangwa se bifitanye isano namateka yaho akomoka so some people when you see them you, you you find that their character or their behaviors are not good but when you observe you realize that their behavior or their character is really proportional or direct directly linked to their history ariko uyu mwana we siko byari bimeze but it wasn't the case for this child mutima w'uyu mwana wari wararezwe the heart of this child was educated was wari warakomotsa hano hazima he had a good origin wari ufite umubyeyi muzima he had a good parent kandi wamureze and who educated him wanafashe nigiye cyo kwinvestinga mu gutegura future ye amukorera amutegurura umurage who even took time to invest in his future by preparing his inheritance kindi kintu cyakabiri yari afite kiri ngombwa the second thing that he had that is important yari afite umugisha wase he had the blessing of his father what i said is preparing for him an inheritance i know that several things are difficult for us in this life it's because when someone lives and when you reach a time when you are about to start your life it looks like you have to start from zero that wasn't the case for this child that, that child was prepared and has things prepared for him he knew that he wouldn't start from scratch he knew that he, there are some things there waiting for him and the third thing that is useful in life that he had that child had a fellowship with his father this child was free in front of his father this child could talk with his father to the point that he could go talk to his father tell him what he wanted with without fear or hesitation ubundi byo ngibyo byakabaye ari byo biguhesha gutuza no kuba umeze neza ugategereza igihe so azagira umudende cyangwa azagira ubushake bwo kukuraga kuko abona yuko koko igihe cyawe cyo guhabwa cyangwa cyo kwegurirwa ibyawe cyageze normally this should give you peace and confidence to stand still and wait for your father to give you and give you the things that he prepared for you when he sees that the time is there so this is why several children of God when you realize that you have the freedom to talk and you have some uh, uh, physical things that God has given to you you realize so this come to deceive you your heart start deceiving you and you feel like you need your own freedom and you no longer need the cover the protection and the lead of your father listen to what the father said he says that his children he will carry them he will protect them he will feed them until their hair turns gray if in you you think that you are at a certain level when you no longer need your father in your life where you no longer need your father to mingle with the decisions of your heart this is where you start in getting lost this is what being lost start this is what this child was lost he thought that he's grown enough his heart convinced him that he no longer need the help of his father 
kwicirwa and he thought that he no longer needs the cover to be protected nuyu musa rabantu bikura munsi yibu y'umutaka wabyeye even today there are people who take themselves out of the cover or the umbrella of the father ubundi ababyeyi bari mu nzego shatu normally parents are in three levels haru mubyeyi w'umwuka cyangwa se w'imyuka the the spiritual father the father of our spirit as it says in hebrew imana that the father imana father Our father in heaven God hakaba nababyeyi bubugingo but they are also parent of our souls aribo bashumba which are our pastors umushumba numubyeyi wubugingo niwe ufite ishingano za buri munsi kwita ku mitekereze yawe ku mahitamo yawe ku byemezo byawe ku bushake bwawe ku mitekereze yawe akabifasha akagufasha kubihuza ni jambo ry'Imana the pastor have the responsibility to take your thoughts your mind your will your decisions and help you align them with the word of God hakaba numubyeyi wumubiri wo nyama namaraso and there is a parent of blood and flesh abo bantu ko ari batatu So those three people you never need to separate yourself from them in all your life but at some point you also become a parent and when that time come your parent or your, 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 your parent tell it to you in all the three levels if you haven't given you that, that if you haven't given you that you haven't told you that it's your time to become a parent don't allow your heart don't allow allow your heart to deceive you don't allow your heart to deceive you even if you know to preach well even if you know so many scriptures even if you have more gifts than even your father even if you are a better teacher than your father your father is your father The grace upon him allows him to protect you to cover you and to think better than you think So uyu mwana aratubona agambiriye gutya arahaguruka avuga ati data mi byanje ndumva nihagije kwibeshaho no kubijera So this child one day stood and say my father give me what belongs to me I am enough for myself I'm going to manage myself Kandi mwibuka iko mu mahame ya data And remember that in our father's principle Mu mahame agenga ubwami bwa data In the principles of the kingdom of our father Amahame agenga urugo rwa data And the principles of the home of our father says Aravuga ngo It says aho utunze bwawe uzabwerekeza that where your, your riches are niho numutima wa uzaburi there your heart will also be matayo magatandatu 21 matthew 6:21 kuko aho utunze bwawe buri for where your treasure is niho numutima wawe uzaburi there your heart will also be niho numutima wa uzaburi this is where Now, your heart will be uyu mwana so for that child kuva umutima ukimubesha for since your, his heart was deceiving him gutandukanya ubutunze to separate his treasures from the treasures of his father this is the day his heart was separated from the heart of his father uyu munsi nicyo kibazo kirecyahari mu nzu y'Imana even today we still have this issue in the, house of God, God. in the servant of God I'm about to say it even if many people don't don't like it the treasures of the people of God up to today told God They told God that I have suffered these belong to me just find a way to manage me why separating me from my treasures um, and my riches listen to what god is responding to you god tells you that if you separate your treasure from mine i no longer have the ability to lead your life i no longer have the ability to lead the choices of your heart I no longer have the capacity 
capacity to mingle myself into your life and unless you let me have a say in your treasures as well today you know that this is the major problem we are talking about it here and there we say we, we talk about it in the secular it's even said in the sense of God among the sense of God it's like a problem accepted Today, to the extent that they think that when they take their riches into the house of God they think that they are about to feed the pastor and they start saying that he should not eat what I have suffered for worked for I beloved of the Lord I want to tell you this if you read well your Bible those things that were happening even in the Old Testament we never see what they would give those things or give to God this in hands but they would give them to those, priests, and those people that you are giving to it today because those people are in charge of other things in your life as well so this took them to be in front of God for a long time it takes them to spend their time in the word of God it takes them time to get in front of God to get the power to release you from what is bounding you uh, I want us to read in Malachi so that you listen how God spoke about those things. Chapter 1 verse 6 up to 13 but I will jump. As a son honors his father and a slave his master. If I am a father where is the honor due, due me? If I am a master where is the respect due me? Say the Lord Almighty it is you priests who show contempt for my name says the Lord Almighty but you ask how have we shown contempt for your name by offering defiled food on my altar but you ask how have we defiled you by saying that the Lord's table is contemptible verse 13 and you say what a burden and you sniff at it contemptuously says the Lord Almighty when you bring in Jewad lame or deceased lame or deceased animal and offer them as sacrifices should I accept them from your hands says the Lord beloved here the Lord would talk about would talk with his priest or his servants because he would ask them if I am your father where is my honor how do you honor me how do you honor me with what belongs to you and they started asking him. and he told them that the offerings that they bring they, they select among what they, they find contemptuous what are not worthy 
what are not hard for them to earn and you bring it in the house of God what you do not like or you hate you think that that's what God will appreciate what you look at with contempt you think that God deserved that the one who gives you life and the bread to breathe the one who created you the one who gave them to you the one who gave you the strength to walk from, for them now hano muravuga ngo nabatambye bibiliya avuga muri petero wa mbere kabiri in in first peter chapter 2 the bible says aravuga ngo era ku murongo wa 9 ni watu bavuga ngo imana yaduhinduye kuba batambye nabami muri kino giye twese he says that for us god gave us the capacity to become sacrifice uh, priest so imana iravugana nawe and god is talking to you wayemeye as a, someone who accepted it as someone who he calls a priest to come and offer ibitambo or sacrifices in his house Moses no avuza amagambo meza nyankunda and Moses talked about something that i like muri muri mu gitabo cyo kuva igice cya 10 mu rongo wa 2024 kujya ku 2026 in exodus 10:24 to 26 arabwira aya magambo and he told them this yani mabwira farao he was talking with farao yaramubwiye ngo because farao had told them ni mugende mukore imana yanyu ko mushaka go and serve your god the way you are ariko ubutunzi bwanyu mu busiga hano muri Egypta leave your treasures here in Egypt Moses yari amaze kwishurirwa yuko iyo umuntu mutandukanye je no butunzi Moses has already had this revelation that when you separate someone with his riches yuko nacyo ubukoze kuko no umuntu mutima wosigana no butunzi hakagenda gusa ikintu hakagenda housing you acting in vain because his heart will remain with his treasure and only the housing will go aramubwira ngo asubiza farao ngo he told to pharaoh this nabwo tuzi iby'imana iki dusaba gutamba we don't know we don't know what God will ask for us to sacrifice sometimes who ask us to pray prayers to pray for our families and, and something else but sometimes he comes and asks us but sometimes he can ask us from our riches and our treasures to help orphans and widows because the Bible says that the, the real religion is the one that supports this kind of people he wants these riches to build up his house so such a heart such a heart that retain your things from the house of God such a heart that refrain the hand of God to be in your riches I want today you who are listening to me to examine your heart and tell me you realize that you don't obey your heart and your God fully you will find yourself unfaithful in the things of God not only this money you realize that a lot of things you no longer doing them as well if you cannot give your tithe if you, if you cannot support those who are neighbor vulnerable and you find it as a problem I want to tell you that God haven't taken your heart fully Chereka uyu munsi abantu bamwe barimo barahindura inyigisho abakozi b'Imana bemwe bahindura inyigisho kuberako uko kwinangira n'ukuntu societe irimo yakira ifata amafaranga ajyanye no gukorera Imana uh, unless today some preachers are changing are twisting the word of God regarding the way the church can use the money and take things Jesus zo bahindura ubutumwa asigaye kubwira ngo bring and receive they, they have changed the message and they say bring and receive bring the money and I give you the miracle in that case you bring it quickly. but this is not what is written listen to what is written give and it shall be given the Bible says give and it shall come back to you 
If you give, this is when it will come back to you. So people who are still standing in that message are the one you despise today. Today you open to the bring and receive people. Bring your money and I give your miracle to go wherever you want. I will give you children and I will give you other things. So so this child his heart had deceived him and he would think that his father is still with him yet his heart was separated from him his father he was no longer counting this child as alive listen where we started the heart of a child thought about separating his right from the, the dad to separate his treasures from his father but this is not what his father has seen his father would say my son is dead my son is lost I want you to think below this money if there is no hand of God in it will make you uh, will make you go astray if you feel that giving your tithe and your offering is really despising your riches really despising your riches I'm telling you that your heart is deceived your, your heart is lost because the heart of God is and this is hardening the, uh, is, is making the heart of God suffer because God wants people who are ready to serve him with wholeheartedly in uh, any, any condition you cannot serve God if there is something he can ask you and you retain it in that, case, in that case you are the one determining what you can give to God not him telling you what you should so listen what God says in 2 Timothy uh, chapter 2 21 and 20 20 and 21 it says munzu yinyumba Amen. Now in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver but also wood and of earth and some unto honor and some unto dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from these he shall be a vessel unto honor sanctified meet the master's use prepared unto every good work. God said about it clearly that in the heart of someone in a house or in a church there are not only a holy people all servants of God are not necessarily a, a holy or saints in the eyes of God he does not value them the same because some do not allow him to use them some are in the church but are used by the devil their hearts are away and outside they do despising things they do things that do not rejoice the heart of God they do things that are not pleasing to God and but they are also those who do the will of God 
so the God says that in your heart if you accept to separate yourself from those things that are speaking those things that are using you being outside yet you are inside if you separate yourself from them that last and those pleasures if you separate yourself from them God say that you shall be a useful vessel in his temple I want to ask you this question as I close with this answer why should you wait until you get in the life this son got into why do you stay in the house of God until the, the devil will oppress you to, to death and you, that's why you change make good choice my brother open your heart and leave it to God God is still uh, his uh, arms are open He's ready to hug you. He's ready to give you a new clothes and a holy one. He's ready to give you the ring that to manifest a relationship between you and him. He's ready to call you the son that is alive and remove that name of a dead son relate yourself again to me connect your heart with the heart of God tell your heart that from today I will no longer accept to separate my life with the fathers because I have seen that his desire says my father has the strength to carry me until my hair turns grey let's see the second type of a heart that is deceitful yet it is also in the house of God is the older son the firstborn that's firstborn the Bible talks about him and says an important thing that we should think about and that is also sad at least that son that separated from his father and went away but this child was with his father but his, his heart wasn't there this son would do what the father wanted but his heart wouldn't rejoice into that why he would do that listen to the reason because he was taught and educated uh, uh, and, and knew the three things I talked about in the beginning he knew the consequences from separating from his father and he knew what he would get when he separated from his he even knew what would happen to his brother because he separated himself from the father and this is what he would fear from but his heart really was away from his father so he had a great problem he had left Egypt but Egypt didn't leave him Exodus 12 37 up to 38 the Israelite journeyed from Ramses to Sukkot there were about 600,000 men on foot besides women and children and many other people went up with them many other people went up with them beloved listen to the problem of firstborn I'm talking about the saints the people that are saved the, the people that are in the house of God 
they have this problem that is in the heart within their hearts their hearts since their salvation they have not removed the old nature they refuse to separate themselves from the old nature they did not separate themselves from their all daily lives they did not separate themselves in the thing they used to be in today they have moved from one kingdom they left Egypt but they brought together many people strangers they brought several strangers those strange nations keep on darkening their hearts when God took the Israelites from Egypt he talked to them uh, 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 personally we never see a place where it is said whoever wants to go with you come with, with them but the Egyptians have seen the God of Israel and followed them we don't even see where the Israelites make them have a covenant to become like Israelites they said we are following you and they agreed today the nature that followed the, 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 the children of God there are several nations called anger there are several nations called uh, adultery there are several nations called pride there are several nations called the last of the flesh all those things you moved with them he took them from Egypt but today and then they are like thorns in your, in, in your bones you come here you sleep like this it, 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 you feel thorns and you meet like with, with the brothers and you speak a different language because of those several nations that are still in your heart God wants you to remove those people from your heart I want you to remove those things that you think that are helping you towards your destiny there are those who refuse Choose to let go old friends because they are still having some benefits from them because he brings you out in a weekend you, you, you didn't stop to drink if you read in numbers 33 verse 55 the bible says that if you do not drive out the inhabitant of the land drive out the inhabitant of the land those you are allowed to remain will become barbs in your eyes and thorns in your sides they will give you trouble in the land where you will live how many people do you know that are not rejoicing in salvation because their life do not agree with the principles of the kingdom of God in, they, they have failed to remove the, the strangers, those people from their hearts listen what God says today God says that those people that you fail to remove they will become like thorns in your sides these people will become like barbs in your eyes you will never have joy in your heart because you want to live their lives and when you are about to pray your heart will accuse you whoever will be 
preaching you feel like he's talking to you you keep on changing your churches because you feel like those people keep on talking to you they are not talking about they are talking about those strangers that you fail to remove from your heart they are talking about those behaviors that you fail to remove they are showing you that you, you need to separate yourself from them so so this first firstborn son his heart never wanted to belong to his father, but his heart stayed outside let me show you the scenario that shows that this heart was outside the first thing when the brother of this son came his father make a party made a party but he did not invite he invited the servants and they made a party they ate they drank and danced but the elder son wasn't invited his father didn't tell him it's not that his father wouldn't send to him what is the reason his father knew the heart he knew that his elder brother won't rejoice for the salvation of the younger brother he didn't want his younger brother to remember the riches of his father he knew that the firstborn was jealous he knew that this heart would not rejoice when we're celebrating the return of the young brother imagine here you, you have gifts you are in the church you serve God you have gifts you know how to talk you have tangible things that you can use in the work of God you are a preacher you know the word of God you have a gift of leadership but because of your heart that you refuse to give to your father when they choose the select leaders in the church they never select you why do they not select you because your heart is not in the kingdom oh my god the bible says that you have a gift when he released them God do not regret forgiving you but he stops you from using them in his kingdom beloved my brother imagine why you are staying all these years when people are here preaching you reach the level where you are criticizing them because you know too much of the word of God but you refuse yourself a change you have been refused a change or to rejoice from what the, the Lord has given you to use them before your father uh, helping those who backslid to, to rise again the reason is because of your heart that is not good I know you are listening to, if you have that problem, I want you to examine your heart examine your heart your father stops he hinders you from the, the party he, he puts you away from the thing that rejoices him because he knows that what, he re, what, what rejoices him is not what rejoices your heart the sign of what I'm saying is this the son came the young man came the firstborn came when he was close to the gate he heard about the sound of the party listen to the problem of that heart what happened here he sent the servant to know he was so insecure in his heart he wasn't confident and calm within his heart 
azi yuko ari ibintu sashobora gukora we yumva atamuvanga atabimuvangamo that was still in his heart he knew that his father would do things that he cannot stop him from doing ibaza kuje kuneka ibyaso imagine going to spy your own Uruku father tahamu. In the house where you come ukumbira birori ni byiza kujya ngo ugende wihuta ngo bitarangira utaragira wowe ugatangira kohereza intumwa kumenya impamvu ibyizo biro yibyo bibi that there is a party instead of rushing and go to celebrate before it ends you send a spy you send a servant to go check umutima wangiritse that's a heart that is umutima urashukana that heart is the umutima wishari that that heart of jealousy wa mutima usiga uje kuvuga ngo ninde uri bubwiriza sinjayo that had that keep on saying who is going to preach I will not go there tangira guhamagara umu diacon you you start call, calling upon the deacons ninda ninda uzabwiriza kino cyumwe who is preaching this week ninda uzabwiriza kino cyumwe who is preaching this week ah ni uh, ni pita ah is pita namamvu yo kujya hariya nago njayo there's no reason to go I won't go hari gahunda cy'ikino cyumwe what is the program of the week ni yakuramya no gwimbaza gusa it's only uh, uh, present worship dadi yatanze cyumwe cyo kuramya no gwimbaza gusa dadi gave a week of present worship only yo nago nabijamo i cannot go there ndagira ngo nkubwire mwene dadi i want to tell you uwo nago ari umutima wo mubwana this is not a heart of your father uwo nago ari this is not the heart that your father has ufatanya naso ikintu cyose you have to associate with your father in everything ugomba kwishimira ibyo sarimo you have to rejoice the things where your father is niba hari byo nenga ibindi nubi ukabyemera if there are things that you despise and you accept wo nago ari umutima wo mubwana that's not the heart of the king wo nago ari umutima wo mubwana that's not the heart of the king wo nago ari umutima wo mubwana that's not the heart of the king nago ari umutima wo mubwana that's not the heart of the king nabisubira nago ari umutima wo mubwana i will repeat it this is not the heart of the king abantu benshi batumye utaza mu rusenge ngo nuko ari wo rufite cyo cyumwe several people are stopping you from coming to the church because they have this week kanaka simwemera this one i don't believe bafite that one don't have a word wowe niba rufite kuki satanje ari guha you if you have a word why do not your father invite you nuko ibyuzi bitabuzima bifite because your knowledge do not have life ibyo ufite nabuzima bufite your possession don't have life ibyuzi nabuzima bufite your knowledge is is don't don't have life isomo na namu marufite your your father find you useless umunezero we nako ro munezero wawe his joy is not your joy mukuru wawe man beloved of God. Nchishije bugufu umutima. Humble your heart. Worimo ndavuga je wa nchishije bugufu umutima. Humbly I'm saying. Niba urimo kunyumva. If you are listening to ukaza bu cyangwa sukazanyumva. Or oh, oh, you listen to me later. Gira umutima wawe. Tell your heart. Tege ku mutima wawe. Oh then your heart. Nuko ejo twarimo dusoma ibyo byanditswe. Like we read yesterday. Gira umutima wawe. Tell your heart. Come Where are your heart. Musi. From today. Data je kwishimira. Let my father rejoice in you. Ibyo data je byishimira. Let from today my deeds please to the father. Nishimira ibyo data yishimira. Let me rejoice from what the thing that my father rejoice. Nezerego nibikorwa mu rugo rwa data. Be joyful about the things that happen in my father's house. Ku mutima wawe so zawishimira That's why your father will rejoice in your heart. Ni mutima uzava mu go buriganya. This is when this 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 these things will get out of your heart. Ni mutima utazongera kugushuka. This is when your heart shall not deceive you anymore. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kutababazwa nabarimo kugwa. Not crying because of those who are backsliding. Kutababazwa nabasubiyinyuma. Those who are backsliding. Kutababazwa nabatari makuza mu rusengero muri kino gihe. You are not saddened of with people who are not coming in the church now. Nacho bikubwiye. You don't care. Turimo turarira iko abantu basubiyinyuma. We are crying because people backslid. Abantu baraguye. People fail from the salvation. Covid yanye mera nk'indwara kandi nk'umwuka. Covid I accept it as a sickness but also as a spirit. Abantu baraguye. People fell. People yumvamo kutaza gusenga. That's a reason not to come to church. None uraza mwene data ukicara hano kuberako ubona iranzu gwanzu nabirori bikirimo ngibya birimo mbere nibigira ico bikugutwara. But you come here and sit and you find there is no celebration like it used to be and you don't care. Dore byari mu mutima wa wa mwana. See what was in the heart of that son. Kandi yahora gashinja se. And that he, he kept on accusing his father. Ni mpamvu yanze kuza mu rugo igihe yumvise yuko umwana yaje. And why he even refused to come home when he heard that the son the younger son came. Mu mutima wa uriya mwana wifura. In the heart of that first born son. Yari mavuga ngo. He was saying, "Ni 
gute data ya kwakira uriya mwana w'ikirara wamuye mukiye kanangiza ibyo byose how can my father welcome this son who despises things all these years umutima wako mushuka yuko ise atari akuye kumunenga and his heart would tell him that he should despise his father kubera ko ata atatekereza kabiri because he doesn't think twice ibyo umutima kamushuka bigatuma yangasa and the heart would deceive him and lead him to hate his father ibaze imagine imyaka maze mu rusengero the years that you spent in a church someone came waramubwirije recently you preached to him araza ngo ari yaro cyo munyabyaha he came he is no longer a sinner mu minsi mica yibonye atangira kugirana ubusabane naso in few days he start having a relationship Kurenzo with the father more than you you have sharili kaza the jealousy come pastor harara pastor dadara harara daddy only love new people ara harara he likes new people haraba yaraza umutima wuriye If he knew the heart of that you person, mugachiza, that he is even young in the salvation, and even the things he gives, he doesn't know how to discern. I want to tell you these words. My father do not hate the young ones. He do not hate those who work with him. He doesn't hate those who know you are little. Bazgua. But but he saddened by those who know some things and refuse to grow up and I'd rather live with the one who know a few but is willing to know instead of living with the one that knows much but do not put it into practice one one day Jesus gave a parable a parable of two sons and, and their father ngo umunsi umwe yatumye umwana umwe aramubwira ngo mwana wanje irukange mu murima usarurire binibi ugaruke amutuma mu murima we field, this this. umwana aramubwira ngo ndanze naho njya the son said no i will not go arahindukira and he turned abwira mugenzi we he told his brother amutuma nawe kujya mu murima he sent also he sent he also sent him in the field wa unde fit ubwo buriganya bwo kwerekana yuko abazi kandi yuba hase the one who have this deceitfulness to show that he respect his father who always neza imbere yaso kandi abizi yuko nacyo maze who always show a good image in front of his father yet the father knows that you are useless uratijisha mu rusengero kandi umutima wawe wuzuye wuzuye ejo twarimo dusoma ngo wuzuye binure you pretend in the church yet yesterday we read that your heart is full of calluses yes yes papa yes father I'll, go, i'll do that i'll do that well. but he, he left his presence and went in another place the heart of the son that refused before he thought twice like this prodigal son thought he said i i i can't go to my father let me run and do that yes akabaza ngo utekereza uso zemera and jesus asked who shall the lord agree or who is good who is a good one among the two children kuza guterana buri munsi coming to church every day the fact that you come to give your tithe uh, showing front, it's not enough it is good, the, it is good but the first thing that is the one Jesus talked about muri matema 23:23 yaravuze ngo yego ibyo ni mugomeze mu bikore he said yes keep on doing this tanga maturo na kibazo give your offerings itanga mu murimo na kibazo give yourself in the work of god yirize kabiri mu cyumweru na kibazo fast twice a week ari kubanze gukiranuka no gukora no gucimanza zitabera but first king uh, seek the kingdom of god and righteousness in your judgment mu yandi magambo banze mu mutima wawe inada what if you give me your heart and let the works come after umba yesu kuno yavuze muri yohana 11:26 in john 12:26 jesus said yaravuze ngo ushaka kunkorera he said that the one who want to serve me nankurikire let him follow me muyande magambo kugenda inyuma ya yesu 
kubana na Yesu gukurikira Yesu nibyabara nk'umurimo wa mbere in other words going after Jesus following him is the thing that he counts his work first ishingana zihereza the responsibility uwo barimo bajana he give them to the one who is working with him the one who gave him his heart don't let your heart deceive you and that you may bring the work before god and take and and, and restrain your heart the source and the shakuvu kichwa zochari mumuti mawe yumuhungu. Finishing, I want to talk about the problem that was in this son's heart. Ureven na wani bari jayi bazo abu fite. And uh, realize, examine yourself is if so it's your problem as well. No ko yaba gamurugor guase. Even if he was living in his father's house. Ichoni chamber. That's the first thing. Na go inshuti zese yarazis. His father didn't know his friends. Nuko yabaga mu rugo rwase. Do he was living in his father's house. Ishuti za se nabwo se yara ishuti ze nabwo se yaraziza. His father didn't know his friends. Iyaza kuwazizi aba yarazitumiye. If he knew them, he would have invited them to come in the celebration. Ichakabiri. The second thing. Iyaza kuba niyaza kuba yarazizi. If he knew them, yarazi yuko nazo zidakwiriye ko yako nazo niyaza tumiye nkuko atatumiye umwana we. Yimfura. Let's say if he knew them, he didn't invite them because he knew that they were not worthy as his firstborn wasn't as well. Bivuze ko which means nubwo yari mu bwami even if he was in a kingdom, ariko ishutize zari hanze y'ubwami. But his friend were outside of the kingdom. Imagine Think about those words. There are people who say that I cannot become a friend of the born again. The born again just can despise. Okay. They have disorder. He criticized them and said this and this. This is a heart that is uh, uh, despised, a heart that is broken. Why do you call yourself a born again yet you despise and criticize them? This shows that even if you came in a house of your father, your heart is still outside. Those strangers' nations are still in your heart. How come if you are saved, you can choose your friends to be outside and you do your programs, your parties, your things with the people of outside of your kingdom and you cannot fellowship with your Christian friends? And you take that person that your father called a son of the devil and he's your secret keeper, he's your things keeper, he's your treasures keeper. The heart is deceitful. The heart is so deceitful. Who can understand it? He's the father, your, your God. Give him your heart. He's the only one who can understand it. He will tell you that this friend is not a good one. He will tell you that this person is not the right one. I'm telling you, you who criticize who are you? Who are you? What are you? Who are you? Who are you? Why did you come into them if you despise them and criticize them? What can convince me that you changed if they are fruits, you despise their fruits? Shall I be convinced just because you are sitting in a church? Shall I be convinced just because you contribute? 
shall I be co uh, convinced because you give your, your, your what belongs to you, your money what will convince me will be your heart that belongs to the things of your father a holy heart, a faithful heart a righteous heart a heart that rejoices with the father who rejoices in the things that rejoice the father Matthew 23 13 says Matthew 23 verse 13 what to you teachers of the law and Pharisees you hypocrites you shut the door of the kingdom of heaven in people's faces in people's faces you yourselves do not enter nor will you let those enter who are trying to beloved of the God I want to tell you today if you are serving the father in the kingdom if you think like this firstborn and you can dare say what can I why should I save this one since I'm a born again since I'm serving him I've been serving him all these years but what have he given me did he even put me on the on the stage to preach did he even give me this did he even honor me this if you are still having this kind of thinking like this firstborn son today prepare your heart you, you are still having this problem because your heart is still deceiving you your heart does not belong to your father fully. this heart is like the, the heart of Cain Cain didn't want Abel to have a fellowship, a relationship with his father. He never rejoiced that his father would appreciate his work in his kingdom. Cain never desired that Abel would be appreciated in the kingdom better than him serving his father this led him even up to murdering him how many do hate your brothers how many are you who hate your brothers because you see God raising them how many do you have jealousy upon because they have their, their devotion in the work of God how many are you jealous about because the pastor stood there and thanked them, appreciated them. Examine your heart. Examine your heart. Below. Examine your heart below. Today, God can restore your heart. Today, you can determine to remove everything that is within your heart that can fight your brother or fight his good works. Do you know how many people left the church because they have seen someone who once was a sinner is now here on the pulpit preaching? You start being like the Pharisees saying that if he knew the heart or, or this man how he is a sinner instead of rejoicing that you changed your heart is saddened I want us to pray pray for your heart say Lord give me a new heart give me a new heart creating me a new heart creating me a new heart creating me a new heart one day David 
David he realized that he satisfied on the kingdom throne and he realized that his heart has started deceiving him doing what the Lord doesn't like and he, he did what once his heart called he started being in adultery he killed the innocent and God visited him he told him David you have changed and he knelt down I want you to kneel down with me and pray like he prayed say Lord create in me a new heart the heart that is in me dead is far from you my conscience is dead I now I'm doing things that you hate I'm battering innocent and it's no problem uh, adultery is no problem deceit is no longer any problem talking about my brothers is no longer a problem despising the, the things of God is no longer a problem oh my heart is rotten my heart is rotten my heart is rotten I pray that you give me a new oh, heart. Create in me a new heart, oh Lord. Give me a new heart, oh God. Give me a new heart. A heart that rejoices. A heart that can praise. A heart that you can praise. And say that there is a heart that I rejoice in. Let, you, let the Lord rejoice in your heart. Let the Lord Jesus love your heart. Let people rejoice with your heart. Let your heart please us to your praise. And you Lord Jesus, for you are restoring the heart of your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Come to the rescue of your heart. Come to restore your heart. Come to restore this heart. Come and heal this heart. Remove those, those, those walls in those hearts in the name of Jesus that are closing their heart. Ni mana data. That are, that, that are separating them from their creator in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord do good to you may the Lord give you a new heart a heart that does not, do not have hypocrisy a heart that do not have the same a heart that is not led by the things of this world but a heart that is led by our Father in the name of Jesus Christ Amen Amen, Amen. Amen. Amen.